27 here. Welcome back to episode 4 of F1 2012 Season Challenge. Um, the last episode I went, so apologies for that, uh, but it's all all good now. Yeah, if you're new to the videos, F1 2012 Season Challenge, then just check it out. If you're not, um, welcome again, anyway. So, finally got to grips with the Toro Rosso, which has been a dog of a car. Um, this video is actually about four eight, um, and it's got India, and I've got Suzuka, so two I've got left. So yeah, just got the usual news things. Um, yeah, Lewis one again, standard, as it pretty much was in 2018. <laughs> yeah, you can see we've got India, Japan, Korea, and what looks like. And Emirates. So I'm just doing the better setup, quick setup. Um, this was a track that suited the Red Bull, so I'm just also switch for this. Um, going like increase speed. So now we're going into the qualifying lap. So here we go. And It's about Mrs. The Apex. Just, my god, my car's gone off to the here. I'm only about half a second down. Really hair, tight hairpin. It's been nice and tight. Take a wide line. I'm going to get better at it. It's a bad straight, and I can really push it away. And now, I'm going to push it front. It's really it. Gone in and I've gone Monto first, but I've gone in so deep. I've back in, stepping out, and this is the tricky section. This, I'm look at Monto last second already. Oh, oh shit, I've gone off crap, that's not gone well. Just got them together, and you can clearly see because the way I went and set up for more speed. Affecting in the corners, this corner here is an absolute beast to get right. And I'm sure lost. I've lost the third one and a half seconds, and I've missed the apex because some guy who was on the line was dropping it. Uh, it's in the brakes back to neutral. I've missed the apex again. It's a really shit qualifying. Just going to really get my end of it. Coming towards the end lap, uh, we're going to see where we're going to end up. Uh, Target's 14. I am not going to get 14. I am 18th. Uh, 2.3, couple of times off the teammate. The rival is Nico Falkenberg, as you can see by the blue mark. So he's 10th. Um, John Eric is 15th. So, uh, could have been a whole lot better. Uh, made mistakes and quite fun, but here we go to the race. That is on pole. John Eric's 15, I'm 18, the rival's 10. King Nico Volkerberg and take the rival challenge to a third race. And I find out. And come on, let's. And we're off and away, and it's a goodish start. I use some of the curves, so it's kind of helped a bit. So, coming down, oh, there's cars on the side. Breaking, oh my Jesus, that was unbelievable. Going around the other side of Grosjean, coming up the side of several cars here. Oh, hello, oh, what stuff's going on? There's a team there, it's there, we've got a hell of a buff coat, the weather's come back at me. And this is where the deficit of speed on my car is going to come in. I mean, look at that. I'm, I'm losing speed. So I'm not keeping up, I'm in such deep. It's going to be a dive bomb of all dive bombs, people. Here we go, shit. Oh, we're going down the inside, up to second. So second and 18th on the grid and I've got this trying to move down the inside. No, you're not gonna do it. You need to sort of off the inside, but you've got to back up. And that's okay. Oh that's actually not the greatest line, but it'll do. See that's gone down to these are kind of I've got a long side. So the loose must have dropped up behind. This is the corner which I hate. And I've missed the apex, I've gone up onto the um, Astro Turf. There, so no, it's not Astro Turf. Astro Turf or something. I've, got, I've gone off, I don't know where I'm going. Um, so, we're 
coming towards the end of Black Swan and Vettel, Vettel's just gone. Vettel's already gone through the last corner. That is how good his red ball is right here. He just about holds it together. And then starts in straight. And I've got a queue of all queue behind me. Well, Mercedes, McLaren, Ferrari, probably two Ferraris. Um, so that two, uh, as you can see on the circuit map, uh, Vettel is now starting to go down the straight. So um, this could be a battle and a half. Hamilton behind me, and I just pray to God he does not down the because I will be a sitting duck. It's looking good so far. So, great hard for this car. Just about get the nose in. Shit, that's not going well. Crap. Where's, where's the Rosie? Right. Get back on the racing line. And, uh, just about gets it in there, and that's all. That's on the grass. Just about, it. oh my god, back end stepping out. Got some of the arrows, that's Lewis. Trying to get some of the better than that hand that just get past me. Wow, first time I've taken that. Great. Um, yeah, I'm up by six and a half. Um, but I'm still six seconds <laughs> on lap two. Um, was it six or eight? Six? Lewis is half a second behind. As we go towards the east, oh my god, Vettel has just started his third lap. This is how much of a train I'm holding up. Okay, DRS is allowing me to sit in duck in this lap. Turn one, just about to get the hit. Oh god, I've gone off again. Oh, that's, that's not gone well. Just that gets it in corner. Getting on the power nice and early. I'm using curves and I'm sure. Do you know what? I think I could go right. My trouble so far is into that great block. Oh my god, my car's got my car's gone off tonight. I don't know where he's going. Where he's going. Lucy is further behind me and I'm choosing to break to the rear. First and the best. Just like together. Oh god, well, that's the best I can do there, so I'll take it. Uh, no, that's not going well. Shit. Oh, and Lewis is taking me. Oh god, now it's really on. Really got to farm my hands. To keep in mind, Cats Lewis. Taking me on the line, going to go that. Going back to neutral. Half a second in the second sector. For the, the battle with Lewis. So we're coming through now to start the penultimate lap. Um, it's oh god, that is the usual way to take that corner. And I've got DRS. I've got DRS on the right. So here we go. Lap four of five. Breaking hard. Just about gets it in there. That was close. Ooh, that was close, people. Down the back straight now, and I really, I really need to get this done. Because I would have a humongous train coming after me. There we go, this could be dive bomb of all dive bombs. Are we going to go for the dive bomb? Yes, we are. Oh, we're up to second. No, we're not. We're in third. Shit. Lewis is still ahead. Oh, and Alonso's in four. This is going to get there, this people. This is going to get edgy. Back to his corner, round. And I'm, look, Lewis, hurry the hell up, Jesus. Oh, pushed off. Lewis is really doing the break. He's doing, he's doing 2016, I think that'd be on me. Especially, I don't know what that is. Go on, Jeff, that'd be gone through 2016, isn't it? So I've now got a long set all the rear end now. And I'm, um, to be fair, Lewis here. And I've just taken the line for that one. Yep, I'll take that. I'm not going to crush the pan once I'm hanging on to Lewis here. I've got to get that prepared for that. There's a one so, the buttons behind the one so. There's, oh, I've just seen on the map, the queue behind me. It's ridiculous. 
Lynch. Lewis is proper doing the 2016 break, tested on the now. So here we go. I wonder what the inside. Yes, we are. And we've got second place. Um, I'm so happy about that. And I've just realised it's the last lap. It's DRS. I am going to get mugged. Oh, gee, oh no. Oh, that was good. I've got Hamilton and Alonso both to my left. I've got a break early. Slow the car down. About half a lap away from my best result in the Toro Rosso. Runs a bit wide. Just holds on to a steer mid corner. That's not good. Come back on. Oh, I've missed the apex there. Lewis is going to go. Oh no, this is completely falling off the track. Oh, this is going to be the absolute dive past corner. Cut that corner a bit. Yeah, I didn't get a pedal. I'm okay with that. Personal best second sector. Time to that corner. So this is it, guys. It's going to be last corner, last dive bomb of all dive bombs. You've seen me do dive bombs. This is going to be the dive bomb of all dive bombs. Here we go. Pop the inside. Yes, yeah, second. No, I've got it wrong. I've got on the sticky stuff. Engine's cutting out. And Alonso's got to get it, no! I ended up finishing fourth after I've been battling Hamilton for the podium for the entirety of that Grand Prix. Ended up finishing fourth. Could have been second. He was unable to finish ahead of his rival. I, sh I should have just stayed behind Lewis right and not gone for it, but I won that. I won that second place. We'll I ended up finishing fourth. On a plus side, I beat my rival, but I'm. In all the times I've been doing this game, I've never been so gutted at missing out on the podium. And the ironic thing is. If I beat Hulkenberg in the Japanese Grand Prix, I could, I could get his seat, but it all depends on whether I want to. Um, but you see the championship now. Um, I am only a few points off Raikkonen, and a few more off Jensen. So it's looking pretty tasty, actually, uh, between the three of us. Not gonna lie. Um, Constructor-wise, uh, I'm in a battle with Lotus at the minute, so, um, yeah. I think that's been much of the same race I've done. I obviously cut scene, yeah, my team's over the moon. I finished fourth. Uh, i tell you what, could have been second. Never more, never been more disappointed about not getting the podium in season lunch. Um, so, yeah, we are now going to see what Japan brings. Um, in Japan, it'll probably break. I'm hoping it's not. Um, for those who have seen me do wet races on here, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Other ones it doesn't, it turns into an absolute farce. Um, so, yeah, I'm just skipping through these. And we are now going, so yeah, basically this is the rival showdown between me and Hulkenberg. Uh, look at the amount of points I've got. I've got like 22 points more than him. <laughs> he expects to be me, he hasn't got a else chance. Right, next race is Japan, and we're going to see what the weather is for that. Knowing my luck, it'll rain. Uh, oh, it's raining all weekend. I am so screwed. Wet qualifying Saturday. Let's see. Change it to rear and the brakes. Uh, yep, yeah, battle's off already. Oh, God, the car, there's a back end stepping out there. For a brief moment, I was actually first. So, change it to front. That is my own corner there. In the dry, it's unreal. In the wet, it's so much more difficult. We'll just take a slightly wider line going in. Coming up 
into the first sector now and I'm only half a second off which I'm actually quite surprised at because I thought it would be a lot worse um, I'm only going to hang up and go up the how close am I? that car is going to the back end is gone Bet oh, now Hamilton's in first, so Vettel must have made a mistake coming out of the hairpin. Looks like we're on the grass there. Coming up to the spoon section, and this is tricky in the, in the wet. I've just made my own corner there. Uh, taking a wider line, so getting better traps than it. It's a slight oversteer. Which we get his fifth, sixth. I've been using every single bit of my curves down the straight. Set it to rear because of the chicane. 19, so I've lost almost a second. Can I claw any of that back? We go to this chicane, the final few corners. Break so hard. Oh my god, I've buggered that up. I've buggered it up. We're gonna come through now. I can't use any quick time. Got any? We'll go over the line, see where we are. Crossover, and okay, we're fifth. Wow. Good work. Look how much I gained back. Almost mm, half a second to six temps in the final sector. Um, so I'm absolutely massively impressed with that. A uh, few hundreds of getting onto the second row. That's how close it was between me and Rosberg. And I'm probably about two, three tenths off getting on the front row. Maybe even a bit more than that. Um, honestly, what do I expect from this? And I've outqualified my rival, so I'm in a great position to win the rival challenge against him. Um, losing the rival go challenge. to the race. Can I honestly see us getting a podium in this race? Um, no. Uh, realistic old target is fourth. What are they setting me? They're setting me third. Oh, well, this is what I so Here we go. Into five red lights, and we are away for the Japanese Grand Prix. Full wet conditions. Oh, God, I'm getting absolutely hoarded here. I've got, oh, Jesus, that's never got four cars. This is not going to go well. Oh, Jensen's on the outside on the curbs. I can't go Steven in. Alonso's there. Very canic on Alonso. He knew what he was doing. Got him there. I'm going to crown him out. Trying to go around the outside of Rosberg. Have we got him? No, not quite. Rosberg's gone off. Rosberg's under pressure. Can they get around the outside? Not quite. There isn't enough space to go around the outside. So we're going to sweep around here. Around this. Oh, I don't know. Coming for dead in the one. Oh, I don't think <laughs> it's even left. The dead in the two just about gets it together. And I'm coming for the heck. And can we do a dive bomb on Rosberg? Oh, yeah, nearly lost some front wing. And it's Vettel, Hamilton, Alonso. Um, and one place away from the target. But in all seriousness, um, I think the speed of those three, I. I probably haven't got a kind of chance of catching them because well, they're all ready to the middle of the spoon corner and I was just entering it. That's how much speed those two had. So, looking back and see what he's he's, a, he's, sort, he's sort of still there but the proximity of him is, is not where it should be. So, well, he's half and tenth behind, he's not like right behind me, he's kind of got to the side. Break hard for the corner. Ooh. I think I'm breaking, that's about as close as I'm going to get to a win. So we're going to come through this final corner now in the second lap. And yeah, so we're now going to cut to the final lap because nothing happened for the three, so I'll be honest. I was just driving around, losing time to the answer. But I've got a gaggle of cars behind me on this final lap. I'm trying to hold on for a second, fourth place finish in a row, which should be a massive achievement considering how far that was in the first episode of this challenge. I've run slightly wide and Perez is going to be right behind me. Oh god, car's got into oversteer mode. That's not what I want. There he is. I can see him. He's right behind me. There's the proximity arrow. He's going to go to the left. I'm going to slightly cut him off. Personal best. Second set, the screen thing. 130R in the rain it is terrifying. Brakes hard, slows the car down. 
very canny there what I'm doing. There's a new person going to come inside. Slight oversteer onto the grass. We're going to go across the line and we're going to finish in P4 again in the wet, holding up the likes of Perez, Massa, Rosberg, a load of them. I've got to be massively chuffed with that. And hang on, where is Rosberg? Button, Perez, Massa, Weber, Raikkonen, and John Evan got in the point. Hulkenberg was 15th. Where was 13th? What happened to bloody hell? That is a shocker. So yes, um, fourth place. So absolute fantastic result for me. Uh, was not expecting that at all. Um, so what we're going to do now is cut to, well, we're going to race results in a minute. There we go. So you can see seventh, I've jumped ahead of Jendon, cut to the Constructors' Championship. Um, and we are in fifth and we're behind McLaren. So if you cut to the drivers again, you can see the situation with the points. Um, as a result, I've beaten Nico Rosberg not Rosberg, sorry, Hulkenberg, in the rival challenge. Um, so we're going to go cutting back to the main menu now, once we get through the loading section. So yeah, again, another great result for the team. And it leaves the thing of, you know, do I stay with them for the last two races or do I go to Salba? Um, no doubt I'll be getting an email from my agent. So big question is, will I be a Salba or will I stay at Toro Rosso? That is the big question. All I will say is, uh, these two uh, these two races in this episode have been thoroughly enjoyable. I've absolutely loved them. Um, if you like the videos or if you've enjoyed them, like the videos, comment, whatever. Um, if you want to subscribe, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, yeah, I've been Cosplay Gamer 907. Thank you very much for watching, and you'll find out at the beginning of the next video whether I stay with Toro Rosso or I go to Salva. So, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>